Most of the time, the reports that Google Analytics provides by default are enough for you to conduct your analysis. However, when you have to go deeper, that's when custom reports come in handy. In this lecture, I will show you how you can configure custom reports that meet your business requirements. Let's go to Google Analytics and see how it works. In Google Analytics, you have landing pages report, which is available under behavior, site content, and landing pages. The standard landing pages report looks like this. You have a bunch of columns. Maybe it's too much information when you're presenting this to a stakeholder. When you click on the landing page and drill down, you don't get much information. So what we want to do is have a better view of this report. We still want the landing page report, but only want session, bounce rate, and revenue on that report. In addition, we also want a drill down functionality that will show us the keywords that are driving to that landing page. So I'm going to show you that sample and then you can play with it and configure your own report based on your own requirements. The custom reports are created under customization. So click on customization and click on custom reports. This is where you create your own custom report. So click on new custom report and this is the interface to configure your report. You give your report a name, let's call it landing page Optizent. Your report can have multiple tabs. You simply click on plus add report tab and it'll create a new tab for you. However, let's first focus on the first tab and then we will come back and make other tabs. Go ahead and give your tab a name and I'm gonna call it landing page drill down. Then you decide the type of report you want. Explorer lets you drill down, so we're gonna leave it here. But you can also have a flat table or a map overlay. Map overlay allows you to look at your metrics on a map. But we'll leave it at Explorer for now. Then you call your metric groups. These are the metrics that you wanna look at. I'm gonna call it default group. So I renamed it to default group then click on to add the metric that you want to add to this report. So click on add metric. And here are a bunch of options for you to pick or you can simply type if you already know what you want. In my case, I'm gonna go for sessions first. So as you type in, you'll see all the options that are available. Let's pick sessions, then add another metric. This time we're going to pick bounce rate. So here bounce rate is and then finally, I want to add revenue. That's the one we want. If you want, you can add other metric group as well. So you'll have different metric group. For now, we're just going to leave it as it is. And then you add your dimensions. So click on it. In this, we want landing pages. So landing page. And here is our report, almost ready. If you want, you can also add a filter to limit the data by certain parameters. I don't want to limit the data set, so I'm gonna leave the filter off. That means leave it as it is. And then you have to pick which views do you want this custom report to show up in. So I'm gonna leave it in this profile and also add to Optizent. All website data. Once done, click on Save. And here's your report. So you can see now you have session, bounce rate, and revenue. Your report is called landing page, Optizen, and this is a drill down that the first tab we created. We called it drill down, but we didn't add any drill down to it. So what I'm gonna do is go back and add some drill down functionality. So click on edit here. And this is where you add other dimensions that you want the drill down to happen. So when somebody picks up landing page, when somebody clicks on that landing page link, where do you want this to go? So let's pick another dimension because that's what we want. And let's find keyword. Click on keyword. And now when you see the report, it'll drill down to that keyword. Go ahead and save it. And now when you click on this link, 
it shows you all the keywords that drove to that landing page. So this is very useful when you're trying to create reports that meet your business requirements. I'm gonna do some more customization on this report so you can get a really good feel of this report. Go back up, click on edit, and let's add another metric group to it. In this metric group, let's pick users, add metric, and pick average session duration, and then pages per session. And let's add sessions as well. Once done, go ahead and hit save. Now when you land on the report, it still looks the same, but if you scroll up here, you'll see two options. One is your default group of metrics, and then the next metric group. Now, it's not a good naming convention here, you should name it according to whatever you're trying to achieve. So whatever makes sense for your business, that's what you should name these groupings to. But click on it, and now you can see the metric set has changed based on what you picked here. So you have two options here. Now, let's do another customization. So go back and click on Edit. This time, we are going to add the report tab. And instead of Explorer, we are going to pick flat table. Go ahead and click on flat table and then add your dimensions and metrics. So click on dimensions. So we're going to use landing pages. And then you can add other dimensions as well if you want to look at those. So let's maybe uh, call it keyword because this will be a flat table version, and then the metrics you wanna see. So let's do sessions, bounce rate, revenue. And let's give it a name, and let's call it landing page, flat table. Again, the name should meet your business requirements. I'm just naming it to show you how this works. So go ahead and click on save. And now you can see there are two tabs, landing page drill down and landing page flat table. Click on landing page flat table and here's your report. You have landing page, the keywords for various landing pages, session, bounce rate and revenue. Let's go ahead and click edit again. Add another report tab and let's call it map view. And pick map overlay and then this is where you want to pick the zoom level. Where do you want it to zoom to when it loads? So let's say it's a US, so I'm going to pick country. And then here you type United States. And then the dimension that you want to show on that map. We'll leave it at region. And then the metrics you want. So for the metric group, again, you can create group. We'll just leave it default and then add your metric. Here I want bounce rate. I wanna see bounce rates by various states here. And then let's go ahead and save it. Now you can see map view shows up. Click on map view. And here's your map view showing you the bounce rates for each of the region. Then you can click on city to go to city level and then metro to show you metro level. Once you're done, you can save this report. If you save it, it'll show up in the save report section. Save it and OK. As you can see, it shows up in the save reports. Let's click on it to go back. Then other things you can do in this report is to export it. So if you click on export, you can export it in PDF, put the data in Google Sheets, Excel or CSV. You can also share it with other stakeholders by putting their email address here, and then a PDF will be emailed to them. If you want to edit this report, you have to go back to custom reports. This is where you can edit it. There's an action option, click on it. Edit, copy, share, and delete is what you can do here. In addition to creating your own reports, you can also import the reports from Solution Gallery. Click on import from gallery and click on go to gallery. 
Here you can find all sorts of report templates that you can use in your own Google Analytics. In order to find a report, click on Browse and go ahead and pick Custom Reports. So let's say we want end-to-end -end page search report. Let's click on it and then click on this Import button to import it in your Google Analytics view. Click on Import. And then you have to pick the view where you want this report to show up. Go ahead and find the view. I'm going to go look for demo account master view. And then if you want to rename the report, you can rename it here. So let's just call it end to end paid search and click on create. Once this is successful, you'll see the report already loaded for you. Click on custom reports and you can see end-to-end -end paid search report. So this is how you can find ready-made custom report template and import it. Once you import it, then go ahead and click on it and edit to make sure it meets your need. You can modify this report template in any way you want. Now it's yours. If there is a particular report that you like and you want to share it in the solution gallery, you can click on action and click on share and pick share in solution gallery. Once you do that and share, it'll give you options on how to share it. Now you should have pretty good idea of how to create custom reports and do all sorts of customization. So go ahead and try it. The more you practice, the better you'll become.